Hey everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Coliseum. I'm a little shy. Last time we got to the top of Pyrite, this building here, strange, shady looking building. You know, that's where they're giving away the shadow Pokemon, I guess. So you gotta say, we just captured an intruder. Go inside that building and provide assistance. It's like I'm working for these guys now or something, I don't know. So do we got Espeon and Umbriano? Yes, we do. Okay, good. And I put Mysterious out there because Noctowl was fully done. He was all his shadow gauges done, so I thought I'd, you know. Don't really need him in the party anymore, so I brought Mysterious out, and it looks like it's Silver. Darling, aren't you one of the Dukings people? What made you think that you could simply waltz in here? Such a silly boy. <laughs> Where's Mirror B? I'm taking him down. Take him down. After the beating you took? That's too funny. <laughs> you wait. I'm going to drive all you out of this town. <laughs> oh, such a feisty boy. Don't tell me that you have to take your Pokemon hostage to make you settle down like we did with Duking. What? And we just happened to break the conversation. Oh, we seem to be getting a lot of unexpected company today. But that's no excuse for being a bad host. And we gotta battle this lady here. And her name is Wreath, just like you. Put one up on your door at Christmas time. And she, quite strangely, she's a Pokemon at level 20. I honestly don't know why they put this Pokemon at level 20. I, this is one of those things you just don't understand about games, you know? Pokemon Gold and Silver, I don't understand why Price, the 7th Gym Leader, has lower levels than the 6th Gym Leader. But that's just how it is. And I mean, here it is, a Shadow Remoraid. And there it is, at level 20. So, there it is, yeah, the Rim Rat. It's just, it's one of those strange things, and you're always scared to hit it, right? Because, <laughs> you don't want to kill it or anything like that. But I'm going to use a Pokeball. It's level 20, so the catch rate should be quite easy with it. I should be able to just catch it here. So I'm ultimately really scared that I'm going to kill it, if I even pack with bites or something like that, just because it's such a low level. But I'll run down the stat line here of Rim or Rate. No, I didn't catch it. Uh, I'm going to have two abilities, and I can't read my writing. It looks like... Oh, it's only going to have one ability, actually. Uh, it's going to have the ability Hustle. It's going to increase its attack power. Uh, attack and special attack. I'm not sure by how much. But at the cost of lowering its accuracy, it doesn't seem like much of an ability, because most abilities help you. This ability is kind of like a risk-reward kind of thing. Not too many abilities that are like that. Uh, but it, it evolves into Octillery, which I'm sorry, I don't know what level that is. I think it's like... It's quite early, like 28 or 27 or something like that. And uh, we'll throw a great ball this time, maybe. Um, when it's artillery, it has the ability suction cup, which uh, suction cups, which will it uh, removes the effects of moves such as like mean look or spider web. That I think that's what it does. Like you know, things that like trap you or you know moves like that. I think that's what it is. Uh, I could be wrong, though. I'd, as far as stat-wise go, Remoraid is more of a uh, physical attacker, unfortunately. And, of course, the Water-type moves are special attacks, so it's not a very good Pokemon. It does evolve into Octillery, which is quite early, at level 27. Um, its attack and special attack are both decent, uh, but it's quite slow. Defenses are not bad, unfortunately it's just slow. It's just too bad, because there's a lot of fast Water-type Pokemon out there. Like love this, for example, but uh, not that I really like love this. Uh, but you know, lot, you know, there's not really a whole. When you get a water type Pokemon that's slow, it's a really big disadvantage because I mean, other than say like Slowbro or you know some of the rock ones like Amistar or Relicanth or something like that, there's not a whole bunch of slow water type Pokemon. So unfortunately, Remoraid is quite well. Remoraid itself isn't quite that slow. It's mostly just Octillery that's quite slow. Well, holy smokes, that did a lot of damage to itself, holy. Didn't think it was going to be that bad. Just use Reflect or something, I guess, I don't know. Throw another Great Ball. For being at level 20, it sure is a, being a pain in the ass to catch her. And this is the problem with videos like this. I take a long time to catch these things sometimes like this. You know, eventually I might just end up cutting. You know, because all I'm going to be doing at this point is throwing Great Balls that are... 
Pokeballs at it or whatever. So. That's probably what I'll do. I'll probably cut to the Pokeball where I catch it! And, oh dear, it, that really hurts itself a lot in confusion. <laughs> my, my. Well, I better catch it this time then. <laughs> Well, you snatch or something. I don't know why. Come on! Yeah, there we go. I can't believe how much damage that thing was doing to itself in confusion. <laughs> so anyways, I got a wreath down and out. Just, how did that happen? Unbelievable. So yeah, I'll probably cut. You know, because I know, like, this next Shadow Pokemon I know will be a pain in the ass to catch, so. But, yeah, spoilers, there is another Shadow Pokemon. <laughs> My Pokemon couldn't muster a thing, yo, no, ordinary trainer. Be you hired by Duking as his bodyguards? Let me warn you, if you mess with us, you'd better be prepared for the consequences. Sounds like something the Emperor should say from Episode 6. I can't remember what he says, and I haven't seen those Star Wars movies for a long time, dude. Used to watch them all the time when I was little. And here we go, it is... Mantine, yes, Mantine is the Shadow Pokemon, but it's not level 20, it's actually properly at level 30. I'm going to confuse it right off the hop, because this thing can actually kind of hit you hard. It can have two abilities, it can have Swift Swim. Uh, we've seen Swift Swim, but we maybe haven't seen Swift Swim before <laughs> uh, on any Pokemon. We've seen Water Absorb, which happens to be its other ability with Quagsire has, you know, if you try to attack with Water type moves, like Bubble Beam, it'll actually heal its HP. Very kind of self explanatory in words to what. You know, water absorb absorbs water. Um, yeah, but Swift Swim, if there is rain out, so if the rain move or rain dance is used, or perhaps it is raining because his Kyogre has been entered the battle, which is very unlikely to happen in this game, by all means. <laughs> um, it will raise its speed. I almost want to say it doubles its speed, but I'm not sure if it's that extent or not. Overall, the stat line here, of course, Mantine doesn't evolve, uh, but special attack is is pretty good, so you're going to be using it as a special attack rather than a physical attacker, because its physical attack really stinks, so moves like takedown are going to be quite pointless with it. Now we got a nice little furt here, which I haven't caught the shadow furt, by the way, when I was off camera. I'll explain that in just a second. While I finish the stat line of Manti, I keep interrupting myself here. Special defense stat is superb. Absolutely incredible special attack stat. I mean, I can't get it. I can't say it enough. First defense story, sorry. Uh, and it's not like it's slow, neither, so... It's actually quite the good Pokemon. I was thinking of using it over Quagsire, but I decided to just go to Quagsire at the last second. Um, yeah, let's just let's just wait till the end here to throw our which is a super potion here. I'd, I'll wait till the end. I'll wait till all the other Pokemon are down before I actually decide to catch Mantine. You know, you know what? This Pyrite Town is going a little faster than I thought. I thought we were going to spend a lot more time. Well, I guess I have spent quite a while in here, though. It's going a lot smoother than I thought it would, you know. Unfortunately, you're probably just going to do these two battles in this part, and that's going to be it, though. As unfortunate as that seems, that's all that's going to be able to get done. Um, let's see, secret power here, Mantine. Defense curl! Did you not just see me? I use a special attack on you, stupid. Oh, yeah, Mantine, see, you see how fast? Well, they, Bubble Bee must be lowering speed, because Mantine should not be faster than Umbreon, or Espeon, or Umbreon, especially Espeon. Espeon's quite, usually quite fast. But... Same with, well, Furt's up speeding it. Then, yeah, it must have lowered speed with Bubble Beam or something. I don't know. I don't know. Do I have Furt on this? I don't have Furt on this page of my... But, yeah, I know Furt's speed stat is quite something, but... Ways. We got Yanma. Oh, she's really reusing a lot of Pokemon and you know that we've already had seen the Shadow Pokemon. I mean, she had well, Yanma. We've caught that as a Shadow Pokemon. Furret, and then something else too. 
I can't remember what she had for all. She had a. Uh, can't even remember. <laughs> can't even remember what it was that she had. Oh well. <laughs> Bad memory. I'm thinking of it. It's. How can I not remember? That's terrible. Anyways, Espeon's down. We'll go to Quagsire. You know, I might as well try to use a Pokemon that uh, that I can get experience for. You know, there's no point wasting experience points on a Shadow Pokemon I'm never going to use on my team. So, I made Bubble Beam useless. That's right, you're useless. So we will use Bite and Shadow Rush. So yeah, unfortunately, and Mantine is hard to catch. And I, I always just thought it would be because it's you know it's big. I don't know why it always just seemed more logical that bigger sized Pokemon would be harder to squeeze into a little Pokeball. But I mean, it doesn't really make much sense that they could fit inside Pokeballs anyway. So yeah, I never understood why you can always only have six. Like why? What if someone was carrying around seven Pokemon with it? With like, would they just get a game over screen, or what? I, <laughs> I really don't know what would happen. Anyways. Uh, let's use Slam. Well, no. Let's have Quake, sire. Uh, I'll throw a great ball here, because I know Mantine is such a pain to catch, and whatnot, so... And Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, the Shadow Pokemon, are so much easier to catch in that game, I swear to God. There's a lot more to catch in that game, but... Uh, Shadow Pokemon are just really hard to catch in this game. I don't know why. What it is. Oh, there we go. Jeez, and we get Mantine on the first try. Well, actually, we got a bit of time here. Unbelievable. Two. Why, why does she say the number two? That doesn't make sense. Like, you don't say the number two. Like, you say two. Unbelievable two. I don't know. <laughs> Reese, let's make yourself something for, uh, what, right, Firma. Just a fire dash. You can just like Yoshi, the chili pepper, and Super Mario Galaxy, too. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, you saved me. You people know Duking? Yes, sir. Okay, I'm not a fool. I didn't know what was happening at all. They'd taken Duking's Pokemon hostage. How could they do something so downright dirty? That's why we're here. We can't rescue Plasol. I'm going to. <laughs> like, I don't get, like, he got. Did they actually beat him up? Like, I don't know. Oh boy. <laughs> we meet again, kiddies. How could she hear us? I don't know, is there speaker phones in here? I guess she was talking to that NASCAR person earlier. I don't know. But mirror B, you cowardly cheat. Cowardly cheat. That's so not true. Digging a hostage is perfectly fine as a bargaining tag. I don't think so. <laughs> Jeez, you obviously aren't very smart. Oh, the darling couldn't be any safer if it tried. I'm sure it'll be coming to adore me before too much longer. You've got to be kidding me where it is. Give it back. Oh, oh, oh. No running or hiding for me. Come to the cave. That's where I'll be. I'll be waiting for you. My. She sounds like she should be that witch from Banjo-Kazooie, you know, just rhyming all the time. How can I forget her name? Jeez, I can't even remember her name. Oh, my. I haven't played Banjo-Kazooie for a while. This is the Iron File S. This is just... Basic information on Shadow Pokemon. We got a bit of time. I guess I'll just read it for the hell of it. A Shadow Pokemon is a Pokemon that has been made into a fighting machine by artificially shutting the door to his heart. What we didn't know is that the Shadow Pokemon executed a dark aura that can't be seen by the human eye. Unfortunately, a girl with the ability to see this dark aura has been discovered. This is a major problem. The girl become she could become a huge obstacle for a Shadow Pokemon plan. A solution to this threat is urgently needed. Shadow Pokemon life. Chief Ein. So apparently Ein, this Ein guy, is able to f found her. I don't know how he did that, but anyway, so you end up here and you can take this elevator. And it'll actually take you all the way down in case you wanted to go heal up. And I think they give you some nice little hyper potion, which is quite nice. And let's see. Two hyper potions. Three hyper potions. It's kind of unnecessary. Your Pokemon don't really need hyper potions. You can see, unfortunately, it's a one-way door. You can't get back in, so you're gonna have to climb up the whole thing again. That's not a big deal. All you really is coming to do, all you really is coming to do <laughs> is use the uh, machine. So I'm gonna end this video off right here. Next time on Pokemon Coliseum, we are going to go up into the cave, which was actually up there outside where that other man was standing. All right, I'll see you guys later.